You're here because you've lost something. I've lost something too. People, relationships, pets, homes, jobs, health. We don't get through this life without loss. Without grief. Without being exposed to the feeling of losing everything that we had. That things will never be the same. And we ask, where am I supposed to go from here? I want to talk about what life looks like after we lose something we really love. Or just never thought we would lose. Grief marks this pivot point in our lives. And grief doesn't really ask us to change so much as it forces us to. But how do we answer the questions that loss leaves us with? What do I do? Where do I go? How do I heal? How do we come back from our deepest losses? My mom died when I was 21 years old. The day after Christmas, 2013. She died of breast cancer. The circumstances leading up to her death were difficult, but... They seemed like nothing compared to the day that she was actually gone. My mom was my physical and emotional representation of home. My always wanted kids sing second soprano. I may not like that piercing in your ear, but I'll always love you, mom. Was dead. And on that day, her death became my entire life. And that heartbreak, that loss, that grief, and that pain. I was left with so many questions. What do I do? Where do I go? How do I heal? Those questions eventually prompted me to research, to get help. I wanted to find other people that had walked this road before. I wanted to know what their stories were and what I could learn from them. My mom's death drove me to become a student of grief. And I studied hard. And in that studying, I found that the answers to coming back to my life after her death revealed themselves in the stories of others. As I collected wisdom about grief and loss, I began to help others through their experiences. And sharing these stories and resources and tools with them reminded me that we can all come back from grief and loss and heartbreak. But the process of coming back means being guided, called, or directed to the resources and the help that most resonates with you. It's how I found others in the midst of my own loss, and how others found me in theirs. My goal with this podcast is to offer you stories, tips, and resources for all kinds of loss, to remind you that you are not alone on your journey, and to encourage you along the way. Death, divorce, illness, breakup, pet loss, child loss, dysfunctional childhood, major move, loss of trust, domestic abuse, job loss, bankruptcy, loss of faith, these are all things worth grieving. We lose so many things across the course of our lives. Loss is guaranteed. But until we are guided, called, or directed to grieve, we won't. We must hear the stories, ideas, and heartbreaks from others so we can tap into our own ability and power to heal. It's the voices of others that encourage us to find our own. I believe that we can come back. I believe it with everything in me. But we need the stories and the wisdom of others to get started. To keep going. The days that we lose something, the days our loved ones die. The days that we find out that nothing in our lives is going to be the same again. These are the days that stop us in our tracks and ask us outright, 
How do you want to live the rest of your life? Some people call it a wake-up call. Some people call it a come-to-Jesus moment. Some people recognize that it's an invitation to live a different life. Whatever you call it, it's your chance and your choice to come back. It's the rest of our lives part, the life after death part, the days and weeks and months and years that follow loss. That is your coming back. Working through your grief, coping with your pain, actively choosing how you want to heal. That's what will define your joy, your home, and your happiness for the remainder of your life. And how do we come back? How do we start that process? We listen to and plug into the stories of others. We learn from their experiences, and we use them to shape our own. I believe that gathering all these resources and stories, sharing all these quotes and ideas, spreading all of these tools and inspirations, we can help each other come back. We can find faith in ourselves and our ability to heal, and we can consciously create new paths for ourselves that sing the songs of who we want to become. I want to talk about loss. I want to talk about breaking, shattering, dying. I want to talk about being lost, darkness, uncertainty, losing hope. And I want to talk about healing, discovering, remembering, coming back. I want to talk about coming back from our deepest losses, and I invite you on this journey with me. I believe in your story. I believe in your truth. And I believe, big time, in your heart. I'm Shelby Forsythia, Intuitive Grief Guide, and this is Coming Back. <laughs>